All right, so we're gonna start with the chorizo pork tacos, I think. I think that's the move in like, each dish comes in their own individual little bag. Um, and then the meat just comes separate. Guys, come. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. Okay, I'm gonna put Chance on the chair because I don't want him around the food, but he can sit and watch. He's literally watching me in the chair. Okay, we got a big bowl and we are going to combine the cabbage, the vinegar, with oil and salt and pepper. This recipe I think is the easiest one out of the three. You just got through all of your meetings. Are your meetings usually long? All right, so here we go. Maybe I should have cut the hole bigger, whatever. All right, so we just have some purple cabbage. Now we just have to mix uh, the red wine vinegar. Should I let you watch here? There. Making a little trash pile over here. Um, it says oil and salt and pepper. Okay, so I think I keep your oil in here. Just do a little. Oops. I don't know what a drizzle looks like. We like that. <laughs> sure, we'll go with the flow. And then let me get the salt and pepper. Now we're gonna put a little bit of pepper. I like it kind of peppery. Half an hour, but this one la but this last one ended early. Well, that's good. Now you can join for the cooking show. Now this, we're just putting a little bit of salt. Also, I need things to be salty. Like I like my food salty. So don't judge me if I put a lot. Okay. Hi, Rio. So we're just gonna mix everything together. I guess this slaw is supposed to be very simple. Um, I mean, it's only really vinegar, oil, salt, and pepper, but it smells really good. This is what we're gonna be putting on the chorizo um, tacos. Okay. So that's done. I'm putting that on there. I don't think you can see it. Okay. So then in a large pan, okay, maybe I should just keep the oil out. It says heat a drizzle of oil and medium high. And then add the chorizo, season with spices. All right, can we? This is the part where I kind of struggle sometimes. Um, I do not own a gas stove. And this one is gas and I always struggle to light it. Oh, I did it. Okay, I did it. We're good. We're good, I did it. It stresses me out a little bit if I'm being honest, but we did it. Okay. So we're gonna heat that, add the chorizo seasonings and salt and pepper. Okay, maybe I should do this in the sink. Or is it a little peel option? Maybe I should use scissors. That might be better. 
No, we're not burning down the house. Promise. Well, Chance eats like a king. So when it comes time for dinner, he needs his food cooked. He eats these like fresh dog foods. So. Okay, let's open this up. I did not cut it properly. Okay. Now we just Pop the chorizo in the pan. I'm gonna put it on low. There. That last little chunk did not wanna go into the pan. Okay, now it says salt, pepper, and the seasoning pack. Oh, right here. Hopefully we're just supposed to use the entire thing, because I just did. Hi, Mad Locus. Okay, we're gonna go with a little wooden spoon here. Oh, it smells really good. It smells very, um, okay, the seasonings are giving like old El Paso, you know, but in a good way. gonna try and break it up a bit. So these ones are actually, um, I think this is literally all I have to do. It says you can warm the tortillas in the same pan after, but I, weird, I don't really like my tortillas warmed. Do you guys eat your tortillas warm? Like when you make them at home, do you just grab a cold tortilla or like do you go through the effort of warming it up? Because I actually just like, cold tortillas. It says you just to toast it for 30 seconds to a minute. I've never done that in my life. Would you guys warm up the tortillas? <laughs> also, call me crazy, but I feel like this chorizo doesn't seem like enough chorizo for six tacos. But maybe I just load mine up like crazy. We'll see. Just trying to break up the pieces so that it cooks evenly. Get a bowl. Oh, actually, I had a bowl. Here. I'm going to transfer it into this bowl. Here, let's turn this off. Hopefully I don't fuck up and it doesn't fall. Okay. Now, I don't know if this pan is like still hot enough because I, again, gas stoves really, you know. Um, but I'm gonna take a tortilla anyway and plop it in there. It might have like the flavoring in it. They say to like wipe the pan, but I'm a lazy slob, so I'm not doing that. I'm warming up the tortilla. Yo, how are you, potato head? Right back at you. Um, let me get a plate. No, I don't know what this one. Okay. I was 
assuming this tortilla would be warm. Sure. We're gonna pretend it's that that's my idea of warming it. The rest of them I'm gonna make cold. But I wanna make it look like the picture. So I'm gonna make a full plate. But I will not be eating all of the tacos because we're making three different um, dishes. I just wanna make it look like the Okay. So it looks like the way that they did it in the picture is they put they put the sour cream first. Thank you for the biddies, Orby. Maybe I should get a full knife. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing from there. Hold on. Now I'm just spreading some sour cream onto each of the tortillas. And because this serving is for two, so there's six tacos, I'm gathering that there's one sour cream per person, which is kind of a lot. They put a lot in this thing, unless you like a shit ton of sour cream, but. I'm so messy with it. I literally have extra sour cream. This is a lot. Oh, okay, well. Okay. Now, I think they put the ground chorizo in it. I don't want to put too much. Yeah, it's really not a lot of chorizo per taco, it seems. Um, then they put the slaw. They gave a lot of this. I don't think I'm going to be putting a crazy amount of this on it, but. This is, this is going to turn out to be like a Instagram versus reality situation. Whatevs. It looks the way it looks. I'll deal. As long as it tastes good, I'm fine. And then they put the green salsa. You like my outfit? Thank you. Okay, so now I'm just putting the salsa. Just kind of, it's very liquidy. So I'm just going to drip it on top. And yeah, I'm using the same knife, whatever. Not a big deal. All right. salsa yeah why is that another person saying like free viewers here or whatever all right these are what my tacos look like i think they look super good actually hold on this is the picture and these are my tacos now, before I taste them, I do want to get a picture. All right. Everything's in there. I don't eat soft tacos very often. So don't judge me for the way I fold it. Hmm. Oh, this is good. Oh, I like this. And I don't usually like Mexican food. This is pretty good. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Chance is literally laying by the door. He's sad they left. Mm. Number two, we have spicy Korean glazed meatballs, which these are the ones I was most excited for, I would say. So wants me to cook the rice first. Okay. This one is a little bit, I think there's more, a little more prep to it. Let me grab, uh, here, let's open this. No worries, James, of course. Do what you gotta do. Okay, so we have a scallion, some carrots, which I'll have to wash. I'm assuming the edamame, because they're packed like this, I'm assuming they're washed, but I'll double check what it says. We have some rice. We have some gochujang, which honestly is so good. If you've never tried gochujang, you have to. It's, it's amazing. And we have some sweet soy sauce. All right, so it wants me to get a medium pot and cook the rice, so we're going to do that. I do like to cook, it's fun. Okay, I would say that's about one and a quarter. If it's not, we can just add more big shit. All right, so this is the bottom one. We're gonna go light, easy. All right, combine the rice and a pinch of salt. rice and some salt what's a pinch we don't know her okay. bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat and cover for 20 minutes okay so that's what we're doing right now i know what a cut well Everyone knows that half a water bottle is one cup and one cup and a quarter would be a little, you'd have less than half of a water bottle left. So that's what I'm going by. Not a big deal. Okay, so we have two carrots and a scallion. So we're gonna wash these and chop them up. I don't know if you wanna wash me. Watch me, wash me, <laughs> watch me do this, but I think this is the best I'm going to get here. There's not too much counter space. Let me, keep their hi rivers hi madam pig thank you we just keep a little tiny one it says small dice the carrots and then thinly slice the scallion crosswise separating the white bottom and the green top what am i dumb i don't know what that means we're chopping in my way. All right, let's cut the ends off. I don't know if you can, how about, hold on. How about I move you back there? And I bring this. Here. Looks like this rice is about to boil. And as soon as it does, it says reduce the heat, cover, 
and simmer. So I'm just gonna turn it to the bowl right now. Okay. Oh, you can't even see still. Let me like this. So I'm just cutting the ends off of the carrots. And we're gonna put them in the compost because yes, we compost around these parts. Well, carrot compost. Now, I'm not the greatest at like cutting vegetables, but I do feel like this is the point of this um, food delivery service. It's supposed to be easy, so. Supposed to be for people who don't know how to cook. So I feel like it doesn't matter too much. No, I won't chop a finger. I am gonna cut these in half though because I like my carrots like small. I'm not a huge fan of carrots. Yeah, you know Rivers, in theory, that's the good way of chopping things, but I'm not a chef. I don't claim to be, and I find this to be a lot easier for me. I've definitely tried that way before. <laughs> I have no, um, I'm not really good with hand-eye coordination like that. Hi, Biggles, were the knife suspicious? Why? So we got one carrot all diced up. Like you're supposed to go like this, right? Hold on, like this. I feel like I go slower like this. And I'm less precise this way. Call me crazy. This knife is really good actually. Oh, I just cut one of the other carrots. Not my finger though. I mean, technically I can like cut them bigger if I like, if I so inclined, but well, that one's chunky. I just, I like my carrots small. I like them dainty. Yeah. Well, they went, they are on a trip. So I'm also dog sitting. Um, and so little pupper is sitting by the door because he misses his little parents. All right, so we're gonna cut this onion. Now they said to separate it. I don't even know really what they mean by that. I'm just gonna chop it. Let's move that. I'm just gonna chop it nice and small because I don't know what they meant by splitting it. And I don't really care how the green onion is cut. <laughs> yeah, Orbital, you kind of made up the Cosmo bit. She, <laughs> we were at a party, like, uh, like a pool party last weekend, two weekends ago. I think it was two weekends ago. And she was telling everybody, she's like, yeah, She's like, Claudia Stream, they call me Cosmo, and I love it. Okay, so we need a bowl. Another bowl. All right. We're going to take this brown bowl. Hi, Mason. They separate the whites and the greens. That's what it said, but I honestly don't care. Oh, I get it. Because they want you to put the white part in. Oh, I get it. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? There wasn't even that much white part. Okay, sure. They want me to mix the white scallion, the gochu half of the gochujang, and salt and pepper with the beef. So that's what we're doing. Um, let's take half of this. 
Oh, the spoon does not fit in there. Tough luck for me. Ooh! <gasps> Have you ever seen this before? Look! It's a little baby wooden spoon. Ah! That is so cute! All right. We're taking half the gochujang with salt and pepper. Maybe I should have put the ground beef first, but whatever. You can put it in now. Okay, this is the part I'm really not looking forward to because I don't like touching meat with my hands. Like, I don't like raw meat. Now, if any of you guys haven't been here very much, you should know that for three years, I was completely vegan. So I wouldn't eat meat, I wouldn't eat um, dairy, I wouldn't eat eggs, nada, nothing. And here we are squeezing ground beef into a bowl and preparing to mush it with our hands. You have a wooden spoon that big? It's so cute and tiny. It says this should make eight meatballs. So we're gonna try for that. But if not, I might make like mini meatballs because I don't really want like huge ones. I do want to mix it with the spoon first. So we have our ground beef with some gochujang paste and some scallions and some salt and pepper. Yeah, they taste too beefy in one bite. Okay, this is the pan we used for the chorizo. As you can see, there's a little bit of oil. I'm gonna reuse that oil. I know it probably has a little bit of flavoring, but it's not a huge deal to me. Um, and I don't feel like washing it and also just might add a little zest, who really knows. Um, and then we have to cook the meatballs and then add soy sauce, the rest of the gochujang, a quarter cup of water, and then add the rice, I'm pretty sure, after we transfer the meatballs. Okay, um, is this hot? How's this rice looking? All right. Yeah, I'm going off script just a little bit, but oh my God. <laughs> I have to really hype myself up uh, for these meatballs because I'm stressed. Oh my God, it feels weird. Ew. Oh my God, I can't. This is so, ugh. okay. Breathe, Claudia. It's fine, it's just meatballs. It's just ground beef, it's just ground beef. Now, if there's one thing you also should know about me <laughs> is I don't like ground beef. <laughs> and you're thinking, Claudia, why would you pick meatballs if it's fucking ground beef? Because I like meatballs and I like hamburgers, but I don't like ground beef, like loose ground beef, because it like, smells weird and like the texture is weird when i know hamburgers are just ground beef anyway ew this is actually so disgusting but you know what i do it for the culture and i do it because i know they're gonna taste good you i'm so glad you can't see my face right now because i probably just look absolutely grossed out This one isn't really stringy, actually. How many meatballs was this supposed to make? Eight, I think. Oh, so I made them perfectly sized, I guess. Oh, maybe this one's a little bigger. Here. Chance is vibing. 
He loves, whenever someone's in the kitchen, he uh, loves to watch whatever you're doing. Because he, he's very, like, he, like, thrives on interaction and, like, he hates just being by himself, so he always needs to know like what's going on, what people are doing. All right, so these look pretty proportional. I'm gonna wash my hands and make sure I don't touch anything. Try and get these brown beef germs off my hands and out of my fingernails. Which I've been itching to do since I freaking touched it. Okay. Now, let's transfer this pot back to the stove here. Actually, I'm gonna move the rice to the other one. Um, okay, we're gonna have that rice just cook a little more. This we're gonna switch to maybe medium-ish. And I'm gonna bring you back over Give me two seconds. Um, let me grab a paper towel. Don't worry, Chancy, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Mason, thank you for gifting to Chance the dog. Thank you. All right, we're scooching you back up over here and towards the stove. I was thinking actually maybe I can bring you over here. Okay. Let's move this. Maybe just so you can see the meatballs while I cook them. Let me grab a fork actually. Mm -hmm. That'll probably be easiest to mix them around. How you doing, Beethoven? I'm making spicy Korean glazed meatballs with rice. Let's flip these suckers over. Oh. We already made the pork tacos, the chorizo tacos, and they were really good. I actually really liked it. I finished an entire one and I wasn't planning on it. Ew, I don't want brown beef colored nails. Yes, if you are Canadian, um, you can get a free Good Foods box. All you have to do is pay the $10 delivery and with my link, you can get a box of food for free. I didn't ban emojis. Ew, Bigglesworth, no, I've never seen that. That's terrifying. <laughs> so it says, okay, so it says cook the meatball, meatballs partially covered. Well, these are not partially covered. Do I, am I supposed to care that they're not? All right, now I still do have to finish cooking them with the soy sauce, gochujang, and water. So they do cook for another two to three minutes. So I'm gonna add that in there now. I don't like timing things. I'm not a timer lady. Okay, we got the sweet soy sauce in there. Okay, 
We're going to get the rest of this gochujang in there. What else do I need? Oh, a quarter cup of water. Is that about a quarter cup? Sure. Okay, so it's like homemade, basically. Now, I want to make sure everything sort of gets coated evenly. Now, okay, I might adjust this recipe just a little bit because they say to transfer everything to a bowl, but low key, I want the flavoring to stay in the pan and flavor the rice. So actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just take the meatballs out. I'm not going to take the sauce out because I want it to flavor the rice. We're going off menu. These do smell amazing though. I look taller. Um, I'm just in my sock feet. These are actually my uh, Kiki's delivery service socks. <laughs> if you know anything about Studio Ghibli, those are the socks I'm wearing. I think it says after. Yeah, it's the carrots and the... Oh, you know what? I do have to take the sauce out. I'm going by the book. You spoon it over the rice because you have to saute the carrots and the onion. Hi, Red Dragon. Really? I'm glad she liked it. I feel like um, a lot of the older Ghibli kind of gets overlooked a little because they're not as new as like the newer ones, but. Okay, these meatballs I will be transferring to a bowl. Uh, lots, of, oh, lots of different bowls here. All right. I guess we're just going to do... Okay, I don't think I want to do this on this counter. I'm going to do it right over here, but that will be two seconds. All right. Putting that there. I'm not going to add oil. They say to add a little bit of oil, but there's kind of residual oil in here. Oh, residual. Is that how I say it? Residual. Whatever. I don't really know. I dropped a couple of green onions, but I'm just gonna put them in the compost because there's kind of a lot anyway. Okay. The second time was right, residual. Thank you for the biddies orbital. Thank you, Red Dragon. Add the carrots and saute. Oh, and then I add the edamame. Well, I wasn't supposed to add the green onion in here, but I don't really care. Maybe I will add a little bit of oil. It seems dry. Holy shit, that went everywhere. On my computer. We're just gonna pretend we were supposed to put the green onion in here. That's okay. Have a good day, Jay Sizzle. Thanks for hanging out. Mason, are you filling in for James? Okay. 
We're gonna have to add the edamame in here. Agreed. Well, James was here earlier and he said he would be back. We just added the edamame into the pan. Hi, Fancy Boy. Okay, we're seasoning this with salt and pepper. How you doing? How are you, Ansem? What was I saying in the Hogwarts Legacy video? Do my nails make it harder to make? Not really. I'm really used to having long nails, so I've kind of just always worked around them. This was so fun to watch Hogwarts Legacy on stream, so now I can experience it all over again. And you were so good playing that game. And which part was your favorite? James, are you a bot? To be honest, no, I am not a bot, but it was fun watching Hogwarts Legacy on stream. Because he says the same shit on every video. So, I, I asked him, like, are you a bot? Because what the fuck? I'm going to add the tiniest bit more oil just because it seems so like it's a little dry. He definitely does. He definitely does. And he wants to be the first comment, but doesn't want to have to be sitting there thinking, hmm, what should I comment? So he like already has that written and he just copies and pastes like the title of the video into the comments. Thanks, Red Dragon. There's also rice in here that we're gonna add. And then we're going to um, plate it with the meatballs. We're talking about James. A loyal YouTube commenter. Okay, I think we're going to add the rice. Is this still hot? Now there is a lot of rice. They give a lot. Definitely will not be having all of it. Now we're just gonna combine all of the veggies with the rice. I know I'm using such a tiny spoon, but I'd rather use a tiny spoon and do less dishes <laughs> since I've already used it. They actually do. It's not peas, it's uh, edamame, carrots, green onion, and rice. And um, there's sauce with meatballs and um, I think the meatballs are ground beef with gochujang paste and scallion. I don't put sugar in my rice. I feel like that's a little, I try, I try not to eat too much sugar in general, so adding it to my food is not something I like to do. This looks like an average size spoon to you. This is a cooking spoon. Anyways, I 
If that's what average, if this is what average is to you, <laughs> okay. My favorite spice, probably basil, or I do like paprika. I think paprika is pretty good. Or I like garlic powder. I love bay leaves. Fire. How are you doing, Justin? We already made chorizo tacos and tried them. This is done for sure. I want you to see the plate. All right, we're gonna use this microscopic spoon to plate some of the rice with the carrots and edamame. I do wanna make it look like the picture, but again, I'm not the best at this, so give me a break. Now I'm definitely not gonna be eating all of it, but I'll plate it so that it looks like I am. You know what I'm saying? This is so much rice for two people. I would not be able to eat all of that. Okay. Now, Thanks, Red Dragon. Um, we're gonna put four of the meatballs on top. One. Here, we'll take the little flat one. Two. Oh, the sauce smells so good. Three. And four. And then it also says to put some of the sauce on the rice. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't want the rice on the meatballs because I want the picture to look good. Okay. Now, again, if you're a Canadian, you can get a free box with $10 delivery fee. If you use my link, you can do exclamation mark good food, or um, I do have the link in my about section as well. I wanna make sure this is enough to cover the rice. I think the rest of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it with the rice in the pan. Actually, I won't put it in the pan. Put it in the container. Oh, let me take a picture. Because I'm taking a picture of all of the meals that I make today. All right. Wait, maybe I should do a little. Oops, my cord fell. Ignore that. All right. Let me taste this. It smells really, really good. There's actually a little piece of meatball here. Mmm! Wait. Wait. I think I like these better than the tacos. Mmm. These are it. These are the moment. These are like really, really good. Sorry, Chancy. Sorry, Diogo. What happened to the tacos? I ate one and then put the rest in the fridge. Nice. Okay, so what are we doing here? We have to half the lime 
juice half and cut the remaining into two wedges. Okay. Well, thankfully, we have our handy dandy cutting board. I'm gonna have to move you back again. All right, so this lettuce definitely has to be rinsed. So actually, let me do that first so that it dries. Thank you for the biddies, Mason. You know what I mean? Solid water, like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, these are all different meals, Bigglesworth. I'm making three different ones. Okay, juice half and cut the remaining. That was not half, whatever into two wedges. Okay. I guess we need a little bowl for the... Okay. All right. Get another little bowl. Bowl number... I don't even know what number this would be. We're going to use one of these bowls. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think we're making the dressing. Yeah, like solid versus the sprinkler. So we're juicing this lime. Now, I've never actually juiced a lime before. And I'm assuming you literally just squeeze it. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not. Uh. Now, we have this thing. Okay, before you judge me, I really did think this was a butt plug at first. And I was like, what is this thing? But apparently it's to juice your fruits. So I might just use that instead of my hands. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I remember opening the drawer in the kitchen and being like, what is that? I'm like, why do you have that in the kitchen? And my cousin was like, I swear it's to juice things. <laughs> but like, come on. The shape of it, I don't know, it's a little sus. Now, if anyone used this, I'm just joking. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. No, it's not a cover up, I swear. All right, now it does a pretty good job actually of, look at that. That's actually pretty good, I think. It's pretty much all I can get without getting the pulp. I personally don't mind the pulp because I think it's supposed to be for the dressing anyway, but whatever. That's going to go in the compost. Okay. What do we got next here? Okay. So we are thinly slicing. Let's move this over here. We're thinly slicing the radishes and it looks like there's four of them. So let me quickly rinse these. Now, I've actually never had radish before. Like, I've never bought in a radish. So I'm not entirely sure. Like, I'm assuming you just cut the ends off. Like that, and then just thinly slice it. I don't think you have to peel them, no. I think you're just supposed to, ooh. Don't you hate when that happens? I hate when that happens. But it's because I, like, I don't have, like, good depth perception. I hate it. It sucks. It says thinly sliced, but my nails are too long and they keep fucking up what I want to do. Okay, I'm not going to cut myself, I promise. So Bigglesworth, to answer your question from before, I guess sometimes they do fuck up what I'm trying to do. Okay, that's as thinly sliced as it's gonna get. <laughs> they all look like fucking this, which is annoying, but. Let me just cut all the ends off. I don't know if we're putting that in the bowl as well, but I don't. Oh, I 
I see. Sorry, I was reading the thing. So I think what we're doing is we're t putting aside the radishes, the lettuce, everything, because then we're mixing the dressing first in a bowl. Maybe I should just do that first. I love how all of these meals have collectively just been my lunch. Like I had a, a taco. I had like a meatball and some rice. <laughs> and now we're gonna have a bite of pork chop and some Caesar salad. It's a girl, girl dinner, but for lunch. I hate that, holy shit, that's annoying. I'm supposed to put the vinaigrette, which Caesar vinaigrette. We're gonna put this into the bowl. Um, doesn't look like they have any more of those little wooden spoons, but they have the little metal one, so this will have to do. You made a new emote? Wait, what is it? Hi, Clyde. Let me click it in two seconds. Just give me a sec. Um, here, let me see. What is that? Hopefully it lets me click it. <laughs> no, I love that. I actually love that. Okay, we don't... Oh, actually, we do have all of I'm gonna put, it says a drizzle of oil. I'm gonna pick olive oil for um, the dressing because I feel like it's weird to use vegetable oil or what is this one, canola? I feel like that's a little weird. Uh, so the remaining of the spices, oh, because you put two thirds of the spices on the pork. So we just put a tiny bit of this, I guess. I guess. Wait, what's this? Oh. Okay, so we only have to put one third of the spice in here. So that's what I'm calling one third. That's my guess. <laughs> and then salt and pepper. Now they just say salt and pepper. They don't really tell you how much. So I'm just winging it. All right. So this is what the dressing looks like right now, I have not mixed it. Um, I'm gonna do a little quick mix, which it doesn't really look like enough dressing for the salad, but I'm assuming I can just add oil. All right, so the radishes go in here. I just wanna make space to cut the rest of my vegetables. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna keep that little spoon in there. Next, they want me to slice the string peas and they want me to do it on an angle. The cutting board is dainty. There, they have other cutting boards, but I like that this one fits perfectly on the counter without me having to move anything. I didn't know that you would put this in a Caesar salad, but I guess you would. Or I guess they would anyway. They want me to thinly slice them on an angle. Like this. Why would you slice the peas?
I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, by the way, for anyone that doesn't have me on social media, I met Sam Bennett today. Green beans are definitely a vegetable. And anytime James asks that question, he's just looking for validation and proof that he eats vegetables. The golfer? No, the hockey player. He was on the Panthers. They won the Stanley Cup. I saw the Stanley Cup in person. Yeah, because he was only like, like he was pretty close to me. So I was like, okay, like, might as well go. I touched the Stanley Cup. That's pretty crazy. No, 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 not the water bottle, like the, the prize they win when they play hockey and they win the playoffs, you know? Okay, we're putting the peas in here, which it seems like a lot of them again. And now they want me to roughly chop the lettuce. Now there is a lot of lettuce here and for the record, I've never heard of anyone chopping their lettuce. I think that's dumb. So what we're actually gonna do instead is we, okay, this lettuce is still a little bit wet, but we're simply gonna rip the lettuce because who the fuck cuts their lettuce? Not me. Never heard of that in my life. Now we are adding the maple syrup, which this is the sauce that's going on the pork chops. They're maple lime pork chops. So let's mix this all up. Okay. So now don't stick. Thank you for the biddies. The stove still works in the power outage. That's a win. What am I doing here? Add the spices and the sauce. I'm assuming we cook it a little bit first. I'm patting the spices in with my fork. I also do like to like poke holes in it because it tends to get a little bit more tender when you do that. Unless that's just chicken, but I do it anyway. Bodsmo cookbook. I didn't make up these recipes, so I feel like I feel like it wouldn't count. A little bit on the underside. The other ones were good, actually. I liked them a lot. Let me 
Let me move you a little closer. Oh, I need to add the maple lime sauce. One of these totally has more seasoning than the other, but again, be the healthier. It's just for serving. Okay. There's definitely not a lot of dressing. Might just top it with a little bit of olive oil. Thank you. I got it like 2020, I think. The end of 2020. <laughs> I guess I did toss the salad. You're having so much fun. I'm glad. But my mom and my aunt are coming like around four or five. I'm gonna give them some. Okay, I think these are done. <laughs> We're getting night and night cooking for sure. Okay, so it says to just put them on a cutting board. So that's literally what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let them rest on the cutting board. While they cool off, because it says to let them rest. Or, before slicing, that's all it says. So I got my little salad. Now I'm gonna move you guys. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Mason. No, that's actually hysterical. All right, so it says to chop the pork chop. Chop the pork chop into thin slices. I don't know how thin they want me to do them, but. Clearly not the best at plating this, but a little pork chop situation. And then it says to just serve with a lime. Let me move this over here. Here's the finished salad. I'm gonna take a little pick. Oh, counter's kinda dirty. Just 
just some edamame and water. No, it actually smells really good. The dressing, I already made it. It was like Caesar with oil, salt, pepper. Okay, let me try radish. I don't know if I like radishes. Hmm. I guess I do like radishes. I don't know, James. I'll have to see. All right, let's try this. Mmm. Okay. The pork chop is really nice. Not too impressed with the salad because they just didn't put enough dressing in there. But the pork chops are nice. Mmm. And they're juicy. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to see it ends with us tonight. Mm-hmm. No, it's good.